people of Chennai who have been here, who have been the residents of uh, the city, who have been the citizens of the city, they have only seen massive flooding like this in uh, 1985. It is something which is unprecedented and according to the Tamil Nadu Chief Minister, this is the heaviest record in the uh, past 100 years. The area is flooded with water and people are without any basic amenities and they are suffering and all the families are stranded inside the house. We see a series of shops, all of them shut. Uh, this is how rescue is being carried out with boats because uh, in the inner parts of this particular area, the water is as high as waist deep in, in a few places. I'm told it is even neck deep. So in those places, uh, boats are the only way to bring people out. I'm sitting in the hotel here. My two little children are here. My hotel is not water, it's electric. I don't get to eat food from the morning. Most of the roads have been caved in one such road is what is going on there that is the Madhya Kailash road where there was a uh, cave in that happened and this is mainly due to a uh, lack of preparedness by the authorities. We people are living around 3000 families or 5000 families around this corner area. Now our area is fully flooded but still now we didn't get any proper response from the government. Apart from all the trouble and miseries that uh, the battering of rains has heaped on Chennai, it has also brought out a positive side in many just like these group, this group of people who have come out on their own and are distributing packets of food among old women and children, distributing food packets. We yeah. see many others also do the same. Yeah, we are trying to uh, round table has decided that all of us, in wherever we stay, somewhere close by, we go and help people because there's water all over. I'm here at the Chennai airport and uh, as operations have been completely suspended, uh, airport authorities and airlines are arranging transportation for uh, the people who have been stranded here uh, at the Chennai airport for the past uh, 24 hours. It's been a day over here and I was stuck in SRM University from last three days without power, without food, anything and we don't know what the future would be. We are at the Sitko industrial area of Tiruvalluvar district of Tamil Nadu where due to incessant heavy rains the entire area is flooded. As you can see the entire industrial area is flooded with rains and water which is complete up to four, four five feet of deep of water is here. The entire workers are shut, factories are shut. The workers have been moved out. <laughs> overflowing right now a bridge connecting at least about 15 to 20 bridges have been blocked since morning people stranded on both ends of the bridge there are people not being allowed to uh, you know travel on this particular bridge we're at the palom air force base right now and this is where uh, the aircraft are being mobilized to go to chennai to help in rescue and relief work we've got Chennai airfield is uh, shut down because of flood. We have a satellite airfield and Air Force airfield there. We will be landing there. That aircraft has shorter runway, shorter than the normal runway. We have limited runway landing age available. Rescue and relief operations on in full swing. As Chennai fights the biggest deluge in recent times. Bureau Report, Times Now.